pull the air up as high as you can. And go ahead and like just, you know, adhere it. Put your tape here. Go around your natural fold. Back around. You don't have to have it too tight. Tight enough to where it's secure. And this tape will just fold right over on itself. It's about 10 inch you don't have to do it that tape. long. I do it that long, but if that's hard to work with, just do half that. If I can go around twice, I'm happy. Um, I was teaching Isabella how to tape ears, <laughs> and I, we found that this is too long for her. You know, so like, shorter's easier to handle. Shorter's easier for to newbies. handle. And you know what? You're just yeah, because I go around like twice. Yeah. And then how much pressure are you putting when you? It, just gently. not barely any pressure. I'm not really putting pressure at all. I'm just pretty much just it. going around. Because what you're going to do, and see, I can see how I've kind of started to go down where I'd rather go up. Mm -hmm. I'll just tear it, start over. Ah, okay. Yeah, because once you get going in the wrong direction, yeah, you're, you're going to wrinkle in the tape when yeah. you try to change it. And this tape is very forgiving. But. So the posts have been back wrapped with They've been back coaches. wrapped with coach tape. And this is paper tape mm -hmm. going around the ears. Yep. And it's three quarter inch pipe insulation with a seal and you cut it in half. You cut lengthwise. It in half. Yeah. I'll send you. Yeah. I'll send we you. found it. We found oh, you it did? at okay. Home Depot. Yeah. Okay. And as far as where you started this tape. As low as you can. Then you're going to put your finger on the tip of the ear, and you're going to cut above it. So you're not cutting the tip of the ear. Yeah, you're looking like you're part of the crowd. Good girl. And you're going to do the same thing for your post. Half. Cut it longer because you can always take some off. And if you cut it shorter. I also wrap and back wrap this because when you go to put it between the ears and you go to add the tape to it, if you back wrap it, the tape sticks much easier to it. Mm -hmm. So if you're by yourself, it makes it just Way it makes it easier. And that's exactly how you tape the post. First you exactly. tape them front wise and then you back tape it. Yep. Here, Mandy girl. Good girl. Good girl. You want to go down as low kind of as your tape. It's not going to get on her fur. See how that sticks to it really easy? Mm -hmm. That's why, because it makes it much easier when, if you're by yourself, so if she starts shaking her head, you're not really gonna lose that. Now how do you end up, okay, so you just hold them to measure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Never too close. <clears throat> A little further is okay. Never too close. I know, baby, you're hot. And why is that? Um, too close is going to allow her to pull her ears together. Okay. Okay. Toe right 
They're so pretty. Good girl, Mandy. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Nice. Look at that. We're just gonna wrap this around like each side. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna leave it right there. <clears throat> Don't worry about this one if it comes out a little bit because it's not terrible. Okay. If we have to tape another way, what we'll do is we'll still use this method. I just won't go down as far because mm -hmm. her ears are looking really good. So let's see how long this will last. Okay. And if we have to, I'll tape up higher next time. Okay. And then you're gonna take Two little strings. I just always take a strip off so that it's not as wide. Mm -hmm. Come here, baby. Come here, Mandy girl. Good girl, good girl. I'm gonna put those in front, like that. Let me get on the side here. There we go. Put the tape on there. can answer it and tell her I'm ta taping Maddie's ears. And then just go behind and underneath. And you're ready for Easter Sunday. There you go. You